Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is hacked Mac video software. Today, news came out of yet another software supply chain hack where attackers actually booby trap legitimate software with malware. The story comes from the researchers at ESET who found two products from Eltima that were hijacked with malware. One is a popular Mac video player called El Media Player, and the other is a product called Fox, F O L X. But in any case, on October 19th, ESET found that the legitimate installer packages for El Media Player in the other application were booby trapped with malware, specifically something called the Proton Rat, which is OS X malware. If this remote access Trojan infects your Mac computer, it can do a lot of things. It gives an attacker full backdoor access, but it also does things like steal your Bitcoin, steal your local keys, steal all your browsing history, and a lot of other bad things. Long story short, you don't want Proton on your OS X computer. In any case, ESET found this legitimate software with malware on October 19th. The good news is the vendor behind the software had it cleaned up really quickly uh, later on that day. So by October 20th, you could get a, a clean version of the L Media Player. But in any case, this is yet another concerning example of software supply chain hacks. Recently, we've seen a number of these sort of cases happen. You might remember the popular Windows application called CCleaner, which had its legitimate installer hijacked. There's also the case of NotPetya, which came from legitimate Ukrainian accounting or tax software. So long story short, it seems like a lot of threat actors are targeting legitimate software vendors, gaining access to their development servers, and then booby-trapping their legitimate software with malware. Now, if you happen to be an OS X user that happens to use this video player and download Loaded and installed it on October 19th, you definitely need to check your laptop or your, your desktop for malware. I'll be sure to post links on the blog post associated with this video uh, to some write-ups, including ESET's write-up on this, where they tell you what to search for to make sure you're not infected. By the way, if you are infected, they actually recommend a full reinstall of OS X, so it's a pretty big deal. In the meantime, it's hard to give practical tips for this. I will recommend if you run a OS X or Mac computer, you still need an antivirus software. Uh, because Proton is a known rat, there's a chance that antivirus software could have caught this. The bad news is it's pretty easy to trust software from legitimate vendors. The fact that bad guys are actually booby trapping legitimate software make it hard to detect these type of attacks. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.